Hi guys, welcome back. This is the second part of our body image series. And again, thank you very much, Carrie, for being here to talk to these lovely people. I'm sure they appreciate it. I really appreciate having you here. Thank you very much. Body shaming, what's that? Does that exist? Is that a term? Oh, of course it is. And it isn't always something that we do on purpose. I mean, we might, you know, say, oh, you're looking a little, you know, mm -hmm. the pants are a little tight, maybe you should get a bigger size, or, um, you know, you're not looking so well as you did last year, or something along those lines. Um, but to blatantly tell somebody, you know, man, you got really heavy, you gotta do something about it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you know, you might think that, um, I think, you know, but you don't ever, I, I guess it's just not, it's I, I guess nice. it's not nice, it's and it's a nice. form of bullying. Yes, um, don't bully people. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, I would never pick a friend or uh, someone that I wanted to be with just because they're at a weight. Hmm. You make, you pick a Sorry, friend. Sorry, I'm cutting you short, but this I just read, I don't know, a couple of days ago, how people pick bridesmaids nowadays based on their size. <sighs> <laughs> you don't want your friend in there. You just want a nice picture. I, you know, I guess. Yeah, it's no longer about the, you know, the reason for actually doing those things. It's just about the picture and being socially it's, acceptable. It's the, yeah, it's it's the image of a of a, a of a wedding. Yeah. Wow. And I can see that happening. And I know there's body shaming, but I guess with age, the, the older you get the more you should, you realize that there's more to people as you mature, I guess I should yes, just say age. Yes. <laughs> as you mature, you realize that weight is one thing. And it is, a, I'm not talking about not being healthy and not being able to do the things that you want to do, because you want to do that throughout your life. But you don't want that weight as the only thing in your barometer of a yeah. good person. And typically, even if someone is overweight in my business as a dietitian, typically, even though they might have um, a body weight that's higher, we don't always recommend that they go on a strict weight control because it can be more harmful than good. We might say, let's look at some of the things we can cut down, look at some of the ways we can exercise, um, let's look at what we can do to improve our health. The weight in your thigh area and how that causes cellulite and how women go crazy <laughs> about oh my god I need to get rid of cellulite. Tell well cellulite is really nothing other than body fat that's subcutaneous meaning just under the skin and it's under the skin and it's thinner in that area and there's fibrous connective tissues so that stretches and it makes it look lumpy it's not a lumpy fat, it's not anything different, it's just weight. And the way it looks different is because of the structure over top of it. In women, that weight is there for a purpose, and it's for healthy yeah. weight. You said it was for childbearing, right? For childbearing, yeah. You need that energy for um, pregnancy, for lactation. So you need that weight, and that's where we typically gain it. Unfortunately, it's harder to lose there. Um, but on the other hand, we consider that pear-shaped, and there's a lot less chronic diseases associated with someone who has a um, pear shape with a thinner waist and a um, larger, larger body bottom. bottom. Compared um, to apple shape. Apple shape, yeah. where your weight is more in your abdominal area, and that's why we do the waist circumference, that's more associated with um, fat being associated in your organs, causing conditions like diabetes or high blood pressure or heart disease. So that's why we focus on that. Crazy things people do to lose weight and get that ideal body image that's not even ideal. The perception of what an ideal body image is. So, yeah, let's get right into it. The I want us to talk about the tape one, the oh. warm ones first. <laughs> I try to kind of shock people into 
sometimes seeing things that you wouldn't even think of as a weight control diet. For instance, tapeworm diet where people will actually take capsules with tapeworm larvae or eggs in it and swallow it and have a tapeworm develop inside them to lose weight. And um, the story was um, about a mother who gave um, the tapeworm pageant to her mom. daughter from a pageant to just to help her daughter lose some weight. Just to conclude the whole subject series about body image, I would like for the professional to tell us <laughs> what's the right thing to do? Why are we so why are we so crazy about going after this diet? What do we have to do? Do we have to keep going after it until we find the perfect diet? What do we need to do? <laughs> well, there is no perfect diet um, out there, or it would have worked already. Um, unfortunately, what we have to do isn't easy, and that's why we look for easier ways to do that. Um, we have to choose foods that are healthy for us, that are um, whole foods, not a lot of processed foods, not a lot of sweets, and not a lot of really high fat foods. Fresh fruits, fresh vegetables, whole grains, lean meats, low fat dairy. Um, those are the things that we need to focus on. And once in a while having something that's good and sweet. Ice cream, yes. cupcake. <laughs> uh, you, know, you know, some days you, you, you eat very well and those things should be part of your life but not that you eat every day. That shouldn't be your usual diet. So, don't have for breakfast every morning. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then also we need to exercise. And physical activity and, and eating healthy go hand in hand. Um, we need to um, do some sort of aerobic exercise where we move in our muscles at least most days of the week, at least five. Um, a moderate intensity of about at least an hour. And higher intensity, maybe about a half an hour. Mm -hmm. um, we need to um, put in a couple days a week um, weight of lifting because that increases our muscle mass, increases our calories burning at rest, um, and so we can uh, carry ourselves better and actually eat a little more food <laughs> without gaining weight. Um, and then flexibility. You, you need flexibility exercises. So it's it, it, it's so much easier it's to... It's not about a diet, it's no, about a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle yeah. changing. And again, having those treats, enjoying your life. You know, some days you're going to eat a cupcake and some days you're going to eat a donut, but not every day. Um, it's, it's a check and balance and it's not easy um, because, you know, there's so much food around us and so much things yeah. bombarding us. Oversized Yes, stuff. everything. Yeah. Supersize this and oversize that. In, makes us oversized. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to do that. Um, but just going through life and realizing that there's time for everything and a healthy life is what we want to choose. Wow. There's a time for everything <laughs> and healthy life is what we want to choose. Thanks for watching. I'm Carrie Kramer. I'm a registered dietitian and licensed dietitian and instructor here at Penn State. I um, enjoyed my time here with latte so keep watching life and leaving with latte i love you beautiful people thank you for watching and god bless you bye